All right, so it's time for your daily last recipe for the day. Damn, awesome. This time, we're actually going to be reacting to the morning after I kill myself. It's by the Ill... Ill... News? I forgot how to pronounce it. I think it is... Alias, I believe. My apologies if I said the name for all wrong. I apologize for that. Also, um, it is Suicide Prevention Month, of course, and, um, I know I haven't, like, did that one for a while because I know I was trying to be all happy and all that, but I guess it still never works. Never works, of course, so, yeah. That's how I really still thinking about it, cause I don't know. Odd and noises and yelling and screaming that is going on. My family and and you know my friends never responded to my DMs, and of course. Nobody else still cares, so that's how I really feel about it because um, that's how most people still never cares about me because maybe I'm still a burden, maybe I'm annoying still, or maybe I get too much stress because, you know, everything. That's how I really feel about it, so... Yeah, but, um... Let's take a look at it in 5, 4, 3, 2... The morning after I killed myself... I... Woke up. I made myself breakfast in bed. I added salt and pepper to my eggs and used my toast for a cheese and bacon sandwich. I squeezed the grapefruit into a juice glass. I scraped the ashes from the frying pan and rinsed the butter off the counter. I washed the dishes and folded the towels. The morning after I killed myself, I fell in love. Not with the boy down the street or the middle school principal. Not with the everyday jogger or the grocer who always left the avocados out of the bag. I fell in love with my mother and the way she sat on the floor of my room holding each rock from my collection in her palms until they grew dark with sweat. I fell in love with my father down at the river as he placed my note into a bottle and sent it into the current. With my brother, who once believed in unicorns but who now sat in his desk at school trying desperately to believe. I still existed. The morning after I killed myself, I walked the dog. I watched the way her tail twitched when a bird flew by, or how her pace quickened at the sight of a cat. I saw the empty space in her eyes when she reached a stick and turned around to greet me so we could play catch, but saw nothing but sky in my place. I stood by as strangers stroked her muzzle and she wilted beneath their touch like she once did for mine. The morning after I killed myself, I went back to the neighbor's yard where I left my footprints in concrete as a two-year-old. A 
and examined how they were already faded. I picked a few daisies and pulled a few weeds and watched the elderly woman through her window as she read the paper with the news of my death. I saw her husband spit tobacco into the kitchen sink and bring her her daily medication. The morning after I killed myself, I watched the sun come up. Each orange tree opened like a hand and the kid down the street pointed out a single red cloud to his mother. The morning after I killed myself, I went back to that body in the morgue and tried to talk some sense into her. I told her about the avocados, and the stepping stones, the river, and her parents. I told her about the sunsets, and the dog, and the beach. The morning after I killed myself, I tried to unkill myself. But I couldn't finish what I started. Has Kyrie texted you back? I mean... That's how I really feel. Because, um... I would have told him... How I really feel... About... What's been happening to me, of course. Once I would have still try to kill myself because I really feel that man. I don't think I could take it back because try to explain this to my family but they always get mad at me for no reason and that's how I was rather be alone because I would have tell them how I feel about you know say hey um, I notice that you are never going to need me anymore because I'm all grown up and I'm decided to do this on my own because um, cause right now I am alone. I have someone, a friend with me that could take care of me, of course. I mean, that's the only reason why, because, but in reality, there's nobody else that can help you or save you. When you're going through your life and stuff. I 
almost one of them. I want to die. Sooner or later. Nobody cares about me anymore. But yeah, um, I think that's it for now. Um, but before I go, um, there's something I want to explain. So, yeah.